G'day, my name is Mango Mathiang. I was born in South Sudan. No, I was actually born in Sudan. Back then it was called Sudan. Because of the Civil War, me and my family, uh, we had to move to Australia. And that's where I was raised, particularly all my whole life. Sudan is a beautiful place, but not for everybody. Uh, it's a new country, something small, so uh, just rebuilding it right now and it's going to take some time, but uh, Australia is also a beautiful place. Uh, it's basically what I call home. Uh, it's a lot of great places. I will say that Melbourne is my favorite city, uh, just because that's where I'm from. Uh, or the start of the biggest difference of Sudan between Italy, uh, I would just have to say that you guys are very basically developed. Uh, you know, you've, you've been your own uh, independent for, for years and centuries to where we just uh, basically got our independence about like nine to 10 years ago. So it's totally a huge barrier difference. We got a lot of things that we need to work on. But uh, the thing that I would say that is similar and great about Italians and Sudanese people is that though we're both very family oriented. Uh, we're huge about family. We always take a day off or always got to have dinner or lunch or something like that to spend with family. And uh, to me, that's something huge because that's how I grew up in. Well, in South Sudan, there's a lot of actually kids that really want to play basketball and kind of like very intrigued about it. But uh, just because we're such a new country and such a young country that we really don't have the basically the equipments the, the right coaches to teach us this you know the right way to play basketball uh, you know we have a lot of talent a lot of height as you can see I'm like 6'10 there's a lot of guys that are way taller than me way younger you find like a 16 year old kid is like seven foot one which is kind of like weird but uh, yeah, we got a lot of talent, but we just don't know how to use the talent because we don't have the, the equipment and the, the type of help that we actually need. From Sudan, we have a lot of cultural dances, uh, which personally, I don't know how to do. If I did, I would have showed you guys. But in Australia, there's a song. Uh, it goes, coming from the land down under. It's actually about a movie, but uh, yeah, go check that out. It's actually a pretty cool song. Top five best players. Well, I gotta go with, you know, rest in peace to uh, OG uh, Manu Ball, who started it off for us. He was the first to ever play in the NBA. Uh, he opened a lot of doors for not just myself, but a lot of uh, a lot of other Sudanese kids. Uh, you also got Loa Deng, who went to Duke, and then from Duke, uh, he went to the Chicago Bulls. Uh, he got a very good friend of mine named uh, Thaw Maker as well. Uh, he went straight from high school, straight to the NBA, something different. Uh, then you got myself and uh, another kid named Deng Adele. We also got another friend of ours named uh, Wenyan Gabriel, who's also with the Kings. So uh, Sudanese are actually doing pretty good things for themselves. And uh, you know, our names is really not out there yet, but hopefully by the grace of God, they will be. <laughs>